seven and still one and two. This court is just just it's just that down. Thank you. <laughs> Do you get a picture with them showing the six? Maybe maybe later. Later. Yeah, in your pocket. Who's the person in your pocket? This guy? This guy? Okay, guys, He's your boy. This guy's your boy. Okay. He's taking a joke off the board. Thank you. of this today here on Mother's Day 2012 that this is happening in Toronto now? That's an excellent question. The esoteric aspects of that I don't know, but the uh, familiar and, and the hang, that's that's very significant to me. And also seeing um, friends uh, that I haven't seen in, in a long time going, hey man, how's it going? And uh, what have you been up to? That's, that's priceless. And again, your name and perhaps your website or... Other Paul Renan, drummer, Toronto. No website. Okay. No, I, I'm, I'm a bit of a Luddite. Luddite. Well, in this day and age. I have an iPhone. That keeps me employed. I gotta have one of those, but beyond that. Okay. Well, Mr. Brennan, thank you very much, and happy Mother's Drumming Day, whatever <laughs> yeah. it is. If I could get my mother to drum, yes. There we go. Joe Martellus. And are you from Toronto or? Uh, I, I, I'm from, originally from Toronto. I live in Port Hope right now. Port Hope. Yeah. And you came all the way down on Mother's Day yep. for this. Yep. What's the significance of this for you? Well, just getting this many drummers in one place is fantastic. You know, there's so much talent here. It's not, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, uh, I don't remember this ever happening before. I don't think it ever has. Ever has. So this is something <laughs> yeah. different. Yeah, absolutely. Um, how did you get into drumming? Oh, I've been drumming for almost 30 years now. 30 years? Yeah, I was, when I was a kid, you know. I just started, I guess. I don't know. I, uh, uh, what's your best memory of playing the drums in Toronto? Or a memory? With nothing in the I don't really have I, the, the best one. They're all great. They're all fantastic. I mean, you know, we, 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 we play so many different places. We see so many different people. It's, it's all just one big memory. You know, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, if people wanted to follow your work online or learn a little bit more about your career? Uh, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Facebook. I'm going to be putting out a website pretty soon. Okay. Just and you're out. to look on your Facebook. Your name again is? Joe Bartello. Joe Bartello? Yep. Well, happy Mother's Day 2012 Thank and keep on drumming. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, your names are? Neil Burson. Adam Hay. Adam Hay. And you are holding a drum with? 
have signatures of 80 plus drummers who we are all professional drummers in the city and this is basically just for us. No reason, no rhyme or reason, it's just something for us to have to be part of Toronto's history. And we need a good place to do it. So, Perfect. Old City Hall. Yep. Well, and why was it at City Hall? Explain to me. Well, I was at City Hall for a couple of reasons. Um, the first is the homage to uh, Jazz Portrait by Arcane 1958, with the Brown Song of Harlem. Uh, the second was the Three Arches uh, up in the Toronto, uh, Ontario Legislature building. That's where Russ did Moving Pictures, the cover of Moving Pictures. We wanted to tip our hat to that you know, classic album. And to Neil Peart, too. The third one was we've got the Clock Tower, where the other professional timekeepers of Toronto mark the time. And, uh, and that's it. Plus, it's a courthouse. So, you know, we're all actually defendants, you know. That's right. <laughs> We're all going in for court dates after this. <laughs> well, thank you very much and yeah, happy drumming Mother's Day. Right no. oh, that's crazy. Thank you. Appreciate it. Douglas Lewis. Douglas Lewis, and why did you bring this drum here today? Well, I thought with the skin, most people signed the skin, and Neil's taking the picture, so I figured he wouldn't Who's have Neil? time. Neil Burstein. Right. And I knew he wouldn't have time to do this, so I figured I'd just bring this along and get everybody as many signatures as I could get. I didn't know I would get almost everybody here, so. so this I was is a thrill to be involved, and I'm giving this whole drum to Neil. At first, he thought he was just getting the skin, but he's getting the whole drum. The whole drum. Well, this is uh, this belongs in a time capsule for That's 500 right. years, That's right. and and this is an important part of Toronto's history. It just reminded me of a night in Harlem, and I didn't have anything involved with that, and I figured if I bring a skin, I'll have something involved. So, so it's it's just like in that movie Terminal, right? Like where uh, <laughs> the guy wants to go, and so this is a uh, and you're a drummer. I'm a drum fanatic, very big drum fan. When I shoot band, I shoot bands, I usually try to focus on the drummer, but I try not to focus on the drummer sometimes because I'm there to ph photograph the band, and I usually wind up watching the drummer. So, um, I'll ask you, what's the significance of this day? I mean, I'm getting a sense of it, and people who see this video will get some well, image. The thing is, is, they did it for themselves, so there's no money involved. It's just pure heart. You see everybody hugging. They bring their own sticks. They're hitting each other with the big giant sticks. You know, it's just a great group of people. You know what I mean? And they're all drummers. They're all, you know, they all have their own crazy sense of humor, right? So, just I'm just lucky to be involved. Really how, did, how did you find out about this? Well, I know I've assisted Neil, and Neil's a mentor, a photography mentor of mine. So, okay. I'm just lucky to assist him a few times that I have. So, and to be involved with drummers, he know that I was very enthusiastic about drumming. So that's why I got invited. So I was just very lucky. Oh, is there a name for the day, or is it just everyone show up? Hey, Neil, is there a name for the day other than Night in Harlem for this? Do you call this? It'll be a. Uh, no, it's, it's our shot. It's our shot. It's it's homage to you know the oh moving God. pictures and uh, the you know a fine day in Harlem, the old uh, jazz image. So uh, a fine day in Toronto. Fine day in Toronto. Thank you. There's my contribution. There you go. <laughs> uh, well, again, your name is Doug Lewis. Doug Lewis. And if people wanted to find out a little bit more about you, uh, I'm on Facebook, and you should can tell by my photos that, that uh, how you can find out my profile, right? It's so, a drum. And these will be up there. So well. Congratulations, Mr. Lewis, Thank you and very much. a fine day in to Toronto. You. Thank you. This is Himi Syed, a fine day in Toronto at the footsteps of Old City Hall with all the drummers in Toronto as an homage to a night in Harlem, and it's a fantastic, magical moment in Toronto's history. Himi Syed.